this is going to be hard because it's windy. I, uh, with some friends, this is a new friend of mine, Todd. I just met Todd. Uh, everybody knows Todd is deaf. And I was talking, but we're writing the notes, and I'm trying to tell Todd I do this wrong. It's Rick. I don't know if you ever see Rick. My friend, Knock Knock John, is over there. Uh, underneath. This is a nice spot. I've been here before. Sure enough, code enforcement just drove by. <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, here, you see, like the little couch room. Uh, they're gonna make the, you know, they're not allowed to have that. And some new people had brought that up. And in Austin, Texas, where you have a lot of homeless people, they allow under the overpasses and all, they allow the people to put chairs and all it's kind of progressive but rightfully so they're not allowed to do that here it just so happened code enforcement drove by right as i was getting ready to speak i'll just do this briefly uh todd see he can't hear todd todd say hi say hi <laughs> to you can you read lips todd can you read lips Yes, I wanted you to pray for Todd, uh, pray for, you know, the friends you see. Uh, I did somewhat of the news today, but I don't want to really speak too much on it because I have some friends around, I ran into a few others. I guess I would share a few verses to give it some value. Last night I read just a few verses in the gospel, but it was actually, it was Jesus saying, have a party is in Luke's gospel. It says, don't invite your friends. And Jesus says, don't invite your rich neighbors because then they can pay you back. They can recompense you. It says, but when you have a party, invite the poor, the downtrodden. It says, because you will be recompensed at the resurrection of the hey. just. Hey. I found that interesting. Hey. I was also He's trying to call Todd, but Todd can't. We were writing little notes. I had a friend of mine at the firehouse who retired, and eventually he lost his voice. But it's interesting, a situation like this young kid, Todd, obviously he's on the street. He's got a disability. He's 100% deaf from what I can understand. And you would think that somebody with that type of disability would have I wanted to just do that real quick. You can see this view. I saw some of my other friends. Rick, yeah. say hi real quick. Hey, guys, how you doing? Good to see you. So you got to see Rick. I don't know if you ever seen Rick before, but I run in. I passed by earlier, and if you want a cigarette, I said, I'll be back. I had to go upload that in the video. So for today, uh, for this particular one, that section in the Befriend people that are downcast. Downtrodden. I was reading Corinthians also the other night, and it's a chapter, I think, 1 Corinthians 7. Paul the Apostle is talking about abide in the calling and where which you were called. And then it said, abide in that calling with God. Now I'm going to make an application because Paul's talking about divorce. He's talking about being single and talking about being married, 1 Corinthians 7. But the two that struck me was abide in the calling that God calls you to and abide in that calling with God. God, <coughs> ministry is a divine space. It's a table. It's a place in the spirit. I was having a long discussion with Big Charlie earlier at Timmons. There was a lot of spiritual truths that were right in there as I was talking to Charlie. Some had to do with what I'm saying real quick to make this a little teaching that whatever God's called you to do, make sure that in, in the Old Testament, David, a story that Jesus uses in the gospel, I hope you can hear me, but David, he went to the high priest's house of Biathar, 
and he was on the run from King Saul. And David said, do you have any food here? Do you have any bread? He said, just the sacred bread, but it's only lawful for the priest to eat it. He gave that to David and his men. David ate. He partook of the table too. And in Psalms it says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Spiritual ministry is feeding meat in due season. Okay? And you sit at that table with other people. It's not a performance. It's not a talent, if you will, that you're a speaker. No, you're all sitting at a table with God. And abide in that calling that God's called you to with God. It's easy for us to be active in a lot of things. God's not at that table. So abide in that calling with God. That's Todd. Please pray for God. Pray for Rick. And I'll upload this real quick. And I won't do any news. God bless. Oh, it's not showing.